Hi everybody! Today is January 9th, 2010, and I wanted to say Happy New Year! And I also wanted to talk to you about my New Year's resolution. And what I would like to do in 2010 is to spend more time with elderly people, especially those in my family. I think that time is one of the best presents you can give anyone, all across the board, whether they're children, they're people your age, or they're people who are older than you, especially pe people in their 80s and 90s, I think that's the best thing you can give them is time. It's better than any material possession. And I wanted to tell you a story. My mom and I went to my great aunt Gloria's house with her husband, my great uncle Lou, and his full name is Luigi Salvatore. <laughs> I told you I was Italian. And my uncle Louis, he has dementia. And my grandmother had dementia. And it's it's really devastating. If anybody you do, if you know anybody with dementia, you know how how hard it is to watch. It's really hard to see them lose, you know, lose memories and kind of be, become forgetful and it, it's really devastating. And I, I think the best thing you can do for them is be there for them. And I, I asked my Uncle Louie when we went over there, I said, Uncle Lou, what, I just turned 26. What were you like when you were 26? And he said, I was in jail. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and he, he told me a story about how he was with his friends and they were like, chasing cops. Cops were patrolling the neighborhood and they were in their car behind the cops and every time the cops would stop, they would get out of their car and like hassle the cops. And so they were arrested. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Uncle Mel oh my God, Uncle Lou, oh my God. And so he went to jail. And his mother, the funniest part is that when he was in jail, he had to call, you know, you get one phone call or whatever. And so he called his mother and she came to jail, brought a huge loaf of bread, salami, and a big hunk of cheese. And, and the people who worked at the jail were like, what are you doing? And she said, well, he has to eat. <laughs> and they're like... Yeah, he can't have that here. <laughs> so I'm sure the people who worked at the at the jail probably ate the food because I'm sure it was good. But I I thought if I had never asked him that question, I would have never known that story. And it's such a wonderful, funny story that I can relate to different people in in my family and one day my children and I've already told my coworkers because it's so funny. And I, I just really think that I would like to ask questions, write down stories, and, and keep those stories alive because it's so devastating seeing, seeing them losing their mind. But usually, I, I know with my grandmother too, you remember the past. The, the present, you get more forgetful, but you remember stories from the past. And that's perfect because you can write down those stories. So, that's my New Year's resolution, and I hope everyone is having a fabulous 2010 so far, and I will be making another video soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye!